After months of battling the Islamic State-affiliated Mothe and Abu Sayyaf groups, Philippine President Duterte declared that Marawi has been liberated from the ISIS. The first images of the battle-torn city have now emerged, indicating the scale of damage and the challenge which lies ahead in reconstructing Marawi. I hereby declare Marawi city liberated from the terrorist influence that marks the beginning of rehabilitation of the city. With these words, President Duterte announced the liberation of the southern city of Marawi after five months of bitter fighting. Although the top ISIS-affiliated terrorists, Esnilon Hapilon of the Abu Sayyaf group and Omar Khayyum Mote of the Mote group were killed on Monday, sporadic battles continue. These are the very first visuals of the Marawi city. Over a thousand people have been killed, most of them ISIS militants. Much of its civilian population has fled. But the retaking of Marawi does not mean an immediate end to fighting. About 13 ISIS terrorists were killed in fresh rounds of fierce gunfights this morning. Among them, a former lecturer from Malaysia who was tipped to lead the Philippine ISIS wing after Hapilon's death. Although the Philippine president has announced reconstruction and rehabilitation, it will be months before normalcy is restored on the ground. It's very important ito kasi para sa normalization ng, ng, uh, ng uh, Marawi City mismo. Because we, uns, we are responding to the call na kung makabalik na sila sa kanilang sa dito. So we need to prepare also the area. Over 400,000 people have been displaced and virtually half the city raced to the ground in a battle which saw airstrikes, artillery and street-to-street -street fighting. It now remains to be seen how quickly the Duterte government can eliminate the other terrorists and rebuild the city of Marawi. Bureau report, Vion. With that, it's a wrap on this very special Diwali edition of Gravitas. Happy Diwali to all of you once again. We're leaving you with these images. Thanks very much for watching.